let us understand what is Wellington theorem. Wellington theorem it states that the algebraic sum of movements due to all force acting on an object about any point is equal to the movement of their resultant about the same point. That is, if a force is acting F1, F2, F3, F4 are acting at this point, then and this is at our location vector from origin we can say the if the resultant of these all four is fr then movement of resultant is r cross fr so movement of the resultant is equal to summation of movement of individual that is r cross f1 movement of f1 plus r cross f2 movement of f2 plus r cross f3 plus r cross f4 how to prove it it's very simple let us start with left hand side that is r cross fr r cross fr is r cross fr can be written as f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus f4 now we can expand it like r cross f1 plus r cross f2 plus r cross f3 plus r cross f4 because cross product can be distributed this is known as distributed property of cross product so this can be written like this by opening the or distributing this product and this is nothing but what is there on the right hand side so this is very simple way to prove Wellington theorem the Wellington theorem is very useful to determine the point of application of coplanar force system centroids mass uh, center of mass center of gravity all kind of centers converting the force of distri distributed force into concentrated force all the concepts are coming out of Wellington theorem so this is very useful theorem used in the engineering mechanics